Today we are going to be reviewing the LEGO Coruscant Guard gunship. Based off a single episode from Clone Wars, is this set worth $140? Let's find out. This set comes with five minifigures. For a steep $140, one or two more would be really nice. Starting with Padme, one of the better figures in this set. She has nice printing for her outfit, a nice hairpiece, two faces, an angry and a smiley face. Overall, a solid figure. One thing I would have liked to see done is dual molded legs with the reddish brown color for her feet to represent her boots in the show when she's wearing this outfit. For Chancellor Palpatine, we have a really nice hairpiece, super awesome mold. I'm not sure if it's a new mold or not, but it's cool. He also comes with two faces, a smiling face, and then kind of like a scared face on the other side. Super awesome torso print. Instead of legs, he has a dress, which the torso print just continues straight down that. Really solid figure as well. Now for the Coruscant Guard or better known as shock troopers. Overall, these guys have really solid printing. They still come with the really ugly helmet holes, which there's no excuse for because I don't think we've ever seen Coruscant Guard with any accessories or anything. Then their faces are just standard clone faces. Now last and certainly least, we have Commander Fox. This is probably the laziest commander that LEGO has ever made for a clone. For his visor, it should be black and it would look way cooler if his visor was black instead of the dark bluish gray. The white parts of his torso, although you may not see it on camera, are actually pink instead of white. This is because they printed white on red and it just looks ugly. Another issue with his torso is right up until the breastplate, it should be completely red. This middle section here shouldn't be white. This is another victim of Lego printing a waist cape. It looks terrible. We need cloth waist capes back. Then for his legs, the kneecaps should be red as well and then white below them. But instead, the red stops at the kneecap. And it's really ugly how there's only red on the front of his legs. Honestly, it should continue on the sides and back. Super disappointing figure in Commander Fox. Now for the build. Right off the bat, this set is really small. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the new gunship next to the old 2013 gunship. You can see there is a massive size difference, which as we'll see, will lead to some pretty big issues with this set. Up front, both of the cockpits have a printed control panel. You can slide both of your pilots into the cockpits I opt to use the regular shock troopers as it makes the most sense. One big improvement over the 2013 gunship is these front guns. You can turn and twist them and they won't come off. The guns on the previous gunship used to come off really easily. Under the cockpits you have this front compartment which is really small and LEGO opted to put nothing in it. It would have been nice to get some like extra missiles or something along those lines. Just something that would fit the gunship. One of my least favorite parts about this set and super inaccurate is we have stud shooters on the wings when it should be bubble turret. I don't know why LEGO did it, it just doesn't look right at all to me. All of the Republic logos you see are stickers, which some of them I really wish were printed, especially these big stickers because in my experience, over time, they can start to peel. The doors of this gunship are also very inaccurate as it is one big door on each side instead of two doors on each side. While this can give the gunship a better close look, it is just inaccurate and while open, it just looks flat out wrong. The interior of this ship is super limited. It's honestly hard to fit your hands inside to fit the figures. Only a few can fit comfortably inside. There's less room than it even looks like because if you put it figure on the outside studs, the door when it closes will just knock them right off. There is a carry handle on this set, but like many other features, it is very cramped and can be uncomfortable to use. On the back, we have the rear gun that all gunships have. Then this rear door also opens, but you can't really get much utility out of there as you can't really fit your hand in to fit any more figs. So it's not really useful. Overall, I love the color scheme of this set, but there are just so many issues. For overall swooshability, this set is not great either. When swooshing with the carry handle, I don't get much enjoyment as my hand just feels super cramped in between those rocket launchers. I find more enjoyment just from holding it from the bottom and swooshing it that way, but it's still not ideal. Is this set worth $140? My simple short answer is no. Clone boys, we're getting milk. I would say that this set is probably worth around $110 at the size it's at, but it's still like 
a low rating. My overall score for this set is going to be a 6.4. The Commander Fox is atrocious. There's so many inaccuracies with this and it's so tiny it's honestly hard to play with a lot of the features. I wish LEGO made something a little more worth the $140. If you want this set I will have an Amazon affiliate link in the description below. I might wait till Black Friday or sometime when there's a discount on it though to actually go ahead and order it. If you enjoyed my review, please hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you next time.